Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. In today's video, I did a little Q&A and full face get ready with me. I used a couple new palettes and I'm really excited about how this look came out. I think it is so pretty and I had a lot of fun answering questions from you and just chit chatting and hanging out. These are always so fun for me to film. It's just very laid back. We're playing with makeup, hanging out. I love chatting with you in the comments after. It's a good time. Before we get into it though, let me just give you my accessory details. These plugs are from Love Kills Boutique. This necklace was a gift from my mother-in-law and this hat is from Fox Blood Shop. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hop in and create this look and do a little chatting. Hello, hello, good morning. I've got my spooky coffee. This was the sweetest subscriber gift last year and I love it so much. It even has a spoon with the holes in it. It is my favorite mug ever. I love it so much. Okay, we're gonna get into it. I have already primed. I like to prime before I do my brows so that it has time to really sink in. I use the Glossier Future Dew, which I feel like I'm actually getting really low. It's like down here. So I'm gonna have to make another Glossier purchase soon. I feel like I've asked this on occasion, but leave me your recommendations for things that you think I would like on the Glossier site that I haven't tried before. I have a bunch of the cloud paints. I have... I feel like something else. Do I have their bronzer? No, I don't think I have their liquid bronzer. I think I was curious about it. Just leave me your recommendations because I'm gonna have to make another purchase for this guy anyway. So, might as well grab a couple things, you know, get free shipping. <laughs> and I also did take my mini Hollywood Flawless filter and just kind of popped it on the high points of my face just so I have kind of an underneath glow going through. So yeah, we're gonna get into it. I'll of course have everything listed in the description box as always. I think we're gonna get a little chatty in this video. I liked how last time it was kind of like a get ready with me Q&A last month, so I thought I would do that again. So I have a bunch of your questions from my Instagram story, and I'm just gonna hit up as many as I can, and we're just gonna chat and hang out, do our makeup. I have a couple new palettes to play with, so that's gonna be fun. For foundation, I've been loving the Rare Beauty Positive Light like tinted moisturizer. Yes, that's what it's called. Mine's in the shade 20W, that's what they sent me. I probably would have picked like maybe one shade lighter, but this one's not bad, because I mean, it is a tinted moisturizer. And I've been mixing that with the Aether Beauty Desert Sky Highlighting Oil. I just kind of get that much skin tint on my hand, and then I'm just gonna put like a little drop right in the middle. Kind of looks like that, and then I'm just gonna mix together this little concoction, and it makes it so glowy and amazing. And I'm just gonna use my Salem Cosmetics sponge for this. It's crazy to think that there was ever a time that like full coverage was all I wanted in life. Cause that is so not me anymore. I just want a nice sheer something just to kind of even me out, make my skin look nice and glowy. Sometimes I don't wear it at all. And that is, that's my journey now. How is everything going at your new house? And how is Felix doing? Thanks for asking. I haven't talked about Felix's issues in a while, so thanks for thinking about him. So back in 2020, he started having health issues. He had issues with his bladder getting blocked and he had to be unplugged a couple times. That hasn't been an issue since like two times of that happening. But then later in 2020, he started having issues where he would get like fluid buildup in his lungs. And that's just been an off and on journey for the last couple years. He's been on medications. He goes in every so often to get drained. He actually went over the last couple months, he's gone to get like his heart scan to see if he has like cancer or heart disease and he was totally clear. And then he went for another kind of scan. I honestly don't remember what it was, but they also found nothing. So as of right now, it's just idiopathic. He's fine, his breathing is fine, his lungs sound good he just gets build up every so often and has to get drained so for the most part he's a happy guy they actually even took him off a couple of his medications so that's great and the house is going good i mentioned last time that we were coming up on our year that was a lie <laughs> we are now coming up on our year for some reason in my mind i thought we moved into our house beginning of april no it was beginning of may not beginning of april i have my rare beauty concealer again i bought more at the sephora sale this one's in the shade 110n and I'm loving having it back in my life. It just makes me so happy. I'm just so happy to be in our house. It's been so fun. I've been back on like a, a projects kick where I just wanna really attack certain areas and get things even more decorated and more just situated, I guess. We've been very situated and moved in really since the get-go. I worked really hard, but now I just kind of want to start attacking things again. I kind of redid our bedroom just a little bit, kind of added a few things and rearranged some stuff. 
I really want to completely paint and take out the sink and redo it in our powder bathroom just to make it look a little bit nicer, but that's a project for another day. I know absolutely nothing when it comes to things like that, so it's been a learning process. I'm thankful that we are in a new construction home though, and really everything is perfect and wonderful. It's basically just a matter of kind of making things our own a little bit, adding our own decor and tweaks and things like that. And it's been a lot of fun. How do brands react when you say something negative about a product? Do they take it personal? Um, I'm trying to think if there's ever been a time where a brand's gotten like, I don't know, grumpy or offended with me. I don't think so. I've probably had instances where I didn't say something like the nicest about a product and maybe they didn't send me something for a while or maybe they took me off their PR list in general. Honestly, I can't think of like a specific, so I'm not sure if that happened. It's something that I'm not too attached to. <laughs> um, I think most brands are pretty good about taking constructive criticism and understanding that maybe just not everything works for everyone. And I do try when I'm like reviewing something negatively, explaining why, like, is it a horrible product or does it just not work for me? Is it just not my taste? So I'm not necessarily gonna bash a product if it's not objectively bad, it just isn't my thing. You know what I mean? I haven't had any brands be like babies about anything, which is good. At least again, that I can think of. Maybe it's happened and I've completely like forgotten about it. <laughs> Let it totally fly off of my radar. <laughs> Cause really at the end of the day, I wouldn't want to really work with a brand that isn't okay with me like being myself and telling my honest opinions, so. There's that. Has your favorite pastel palette been updated? Nope. Creepy cute will forever and always be my favorite. Mark my words. I just love it so much. It is so, so wonderful. Ooh, favorite Jeremiah's gelati flavor. Jeremiah's is a place, I think it's specific to Florida. It might not be. They have multiple locations. I know within Florida, maybe other places as well. And they basically just sell like gelato and Italian ice and the combination of the two. I really like the cake batter one and scoop froggy frog. That's like mint chocolate chip, it's so good. I'm gonna take this Lynx Melt Blush Light. My friend Rachel got it for me and I am so excited about this color. It's beautiful and bronzy and amazing. Just gonna kind of dab it on my nose a little bit. Would you ever move out of Florida? I used to be very firm that I absolutely would move out of Florida, but then I don't know. We have our house now and my salon business has grown so much. And it would be really, really hard to justify like moving out of state and me having to start my business over. Like literally starting from scratch, working under someone, building my clientele, moving out on my own. It's a lot of work and that's really stressful. And as much as I don't like Florida's weather and I really just don't like the Florida vibe in general, it's not totally my thing. I love the theme parks and that's about it. Um, family's close, you know, we see Zane's family fairly often and we like to travel so we've kind of gotten to a point where we think we're okay with potentially just kind of making florida our home base and then just traveling a lot but who knows we might move eventually maybe if i ever like branched into the idea of not needing to do hair or if i was looking for a change and if zane got a good enough job offer <laughs> there's just a lot of factors holding us here and i'm not mad about it again as much as i don't love the weather it's it's fine. How do you plan your budget for weekend getaways? Your vlogs look so fun. Thank you so much. I get so happy when someone tells me they enjoy my vlogs because it's just such a, a fun time. I love my little vlog community. It is so fun. I love chatting with you. Well, for one, I have a budget app. I've been using a budget app for a couple of years now. It's called Daily Budget. I don't pay for like the paid version. I just use the free version. And basically you just input what your income is for the month. So I do mine and Zane's jointly. Mine I usually have to update a little bit throughout the month because my different streams of income are varying. It's never the exact same number every month. And then you also add in all your expenses and where exactly those get allocated to. You put in however much you wanna add into savings. And then it basically tells you on the daily how much you can spend. And if like you don't spend your allotment that day, it rolls over to the next day and the next day and the next day. And basically I just always try to not like even remotely, like mine's rolled over so much to the point where I have a lot to fall back on if I need it, which I like because it's almost like my security blanket before I would even need to dip into savings if something happened. So I feel like I'm always just budgeting and trying to save in general. 
And usually if I have cash of any sort, like if any of my salon people pay in cash, I like to just keep that separate. And that's usually the first thing I will like dip into if we're going on a trip is I'll use cash first so that it doesn't feel like I'm really dipping into the daily budget. I don't know. I feel like I've just always kind of been a saver. I don't like to overspend. We don't like to, I don't know. I like to be smart with my money as much as possible. So when the time comes that we do have a trip, I don't really feel bad like going on the trip and it's not like we're super bougie about it. We don't pay for like expensive hotels or anything like that. So I don't know. I feel like it's just a game of practicing how to save and learning how to budget and just getting really good at handling your own money. I know those aren't like really solid tips, but that's the best I got for you because I don't like sit down with a spreadsheet or anything like that. I have a fresh high gloss finishing powder. It's like the best thing ever is having a fresh one. My other one was so broken. It was like little crumbles that I was just trying to make work and it was not working, let me just tell you. I'm liking my skin, it looks just very nice and bronzy. I might add a little bit more blush because these uh, melt cream blushes, they seem to actually layer on powder pretty well. They don't get clumpy or cakey or anything. I think I'm just gonna add a teeny bit more because why not? Have you guys started watching Moon Knight? It's pretty good. I think there's like four episodes out now at the moment that I'm filming this, maybe five by the time this video goes up. Ooh, and RuPaul's Drag Race season finale is tomorrow, I think. Hopefully. I thought it was last week, but then I remembered there was the reunion episode, so I think it's tomorrow. Yay, it is tomorrow. As of right now, Lady Camden's been my favorite since the beginning. I just love her so much, but Willow Pill is a very close second. Really, I don't mind the top five in general. Diabetes attitude isn't my favorite, but I feel like she's had a lot of growth this season. And I just think Angeria is so freaking precious. Oh, and I really like Bosco as well. I like Bosco a lot. What brand would be your dream collab? Shroud 2.0 or a different brand? Honestly, either of those would be so much fun. So who even knows? Favorite squish and yes, only one. I don't know if I can pick a favorite squish Malo. Now, to be fair, I'm not someone that collects them to an insane degree. My sister-in-law does. <laughs> I only have a select amount. I love the Halloween-y ones and I love cats, like ones that look like cats. I think if I had to pick one favorite, it would probably be my green Oogie Boogie. I just love that one. I use it as a pillow a lot and it's just so precious. Zero and the mayor are close seconds. I just love my Nightmare Before Christmas ones. They're so cute. Of all the countries in the world, where would you want to travel? Is it possible to go and would you vlog? Um, I mean, I don't know if I'd vlog. I guess it depends on like where I'm at in my life when I visit certain places. If it were to happen while I'm currently still doing like YouTube stuff and vlogging, I imagine I would. Cause not only do I enjoy vlogging to share things with you, I like the vlogs for myself cause it's fun to look back on things. Where would I want to visit? I want to visit Canada so bad and we'll be visiting part of Canada when we do our Alaskan cruise next summer. That'll be fun. I think it goes to Victoria, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember off the top of my head though. Um, I really want to visit so many different parts of Europe. Uh, Greece has been heavy on the mind lately. I don't even know why. I saw someone else vlog about Greece and I was like, well, now I want to go to Greece. Real quick, I'm going to use this St. Angel's Sinners palette, Cupid's Arrow. And I really wanna use this Juliet shade. I think it might work as a face highlight. We shall see if it doesn't. I'll just top over it with something lighter. Um, but it seems like it might with a light hand. I really wanna visit the UK. I wanna visit Switzerland. Oh my gosh, Ireland is so high on the list. So is Iceland. I just wanna visit so many places. I really wanna to go to Japan. I wanna go so many places. Also, this is beautiful. I think that's actually working really nicely. I'm actually even gonna dip my sponge into Juliet. Ooh, that's actually a lot, I'm gonna tap a little off. And then just press some more into the skin so that it can really just melt in. Oh, it's so good actually. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I can't even think of like a top one right now. There are honestly a lot of places in the States that I still wanna visit before I start traveling far, but who knows? Who knows? Honestly, the first time I travel to like a European country, I might try to do like a transatlantic cruise because I'm very comfortable with cruising. And that might be a really easy way to just kind of see a bunch of different places without having to worry about like my lodging and food and stuff like that. 
but who knows? That is like not on the radar right now. It's not happening this year, that's for sure. And probably not next year because we have a couple bigger plans already. Maybe the year after that, maybe for my 30th birthday in 2024, maybe we will do like a transatlantic cruise or a European trip or something of that nature. That would be fun. I'm going to spray my face now with the Urban Decay Vitamin C All Nighter and then we'll move on to the eyes. All right, moving on to the eyes. I'm gonna take my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eye Primer. I'm gonna slap it on and blend it out. And for today, I'm gonna to be using more of this little Cupid's Arrow palette. And I'm actually even more excited just seeing how beautiful this shade is on my face. I can't wait to put more on my eyes. And I'm also gonna be using the Lois Cosmetics Meet Me in the Underworld. She actually sent it to me because she saw me play with the Meet Me at Midnight. And I'm really excited because I ended up passing on this when it came out last year, just because there were so many other things going on. We were dealing with like moving and there were other things coming out and it just wasn't something I was able to prioritize. I thought it was pretty. I just didn't like love it enough at the time to buy it. But now that I have it in person, it is gorgeous. And I don't know why, why I passed on it. I mean, I know why I passed on it, but I feel like I could have definitely gotten a lot of use out of this a lot sooner, but here we are now. I'm gonna be playing with mostly the mattes in this palette so I can use some of the shimmers from the other one. Let's see, what do I wanna do? I think I wanna start with Woodland. I think that might be good. Might be a good place to begin. I'm gonna take that on this Alter Ego number five brush. Let's get another question. Where did you get all your cat's names from? I've probably talked about this a few times, but I'll give the rundown again. Uh, Absol, he is named after the Pokemon Absol. <laughs> We basically just picked that because Absol, the Pokemon's kind of grayish and Absol is grayish. So that's how we came to that conclusion. Um, Kanade, she's my all white girl. She is named after Kanade from the anime Angel Beats. I'm not a big anime person, but I love Angel Beats. It is such a good one. Felix, my big orange boy, he is named after Fix-It Felix from Wreck-It Ralph. Leela, she's my calico. She was named after Leela from Futurama. And we kind of came to that because when we adopted her, her name was Lisa and I kind of hated that. <laughs> so we changed it to Leela because it was still close. Um, and then Edelyn, well, at first we named her Nandor because we thought she was a boy because that's what they told us. But then soon after we realized she was a girl and we were gonna do Nausea from what we do in the shadows, but that just doesn't roll off the tongue great. So we named her Edelyn from the Owl House. Oh, that color is beautiful, just swampy goodness. I'm just gonna kind of wipe this brush off and just kind of use itself to blend itself out. Next, I'm gonna take Nymph right there. This palette's really cool because we actually got to see Hades Town on Broadway last December. Uh, by the way, this is an alter ego number six, just a slightly smaller brush. And I'm just gonna focus this on the front part of the crease and then just kind of blend it in with the murkiness of the outer corner. But we saw Hades Town, and that's this story <laughs> of Euricity and Orpheus and Hades and all the things. So it's pretty cool. Zane actually got really excited when he saw that I got this palette in the mail. He was like, oh my gosh, this is the story. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I had a couple people ask me to share more just like quick, easy recipes because I talk about them in the vlog sometimes. I really don't experiment that often. I kind of just like have foods that I focus on and I enjoy and they're easy and I enjoy those until I'm sick of them. Uh, lately, I've really been enjoying making smoothies in the morning. I kind of switch it up, but the biggest thing that I add in is what I read to be the fab four. Um, just making sure you have protein, fat, fiber, and greens. And then other than that, you can just kind of mix it up. I'll switch up which fruits I'm using. I actually showed that smoothie recipe in a vlog recently, so you can go check it out if you are interested. I'm liking these greens. They are quite lovely. I'm gonna take Underworld now just to add some depth in the outer corner. This is a very old, like Morphe E17. I don't even buy from Morphe anymore, but this brush is still hanging on, so I'll keep using it until it's dead probably. Um, I love avocado toast. I know that's so basic, but I love it. I only just discovered my love for it this year, really. Um, I like it specifically with everything but the bagel seasoning. And I really like taking a hard boiled egg and kind of slicing it up and also putting it on top of that. I think it's a really yummy combo. It's super quick and simple. I don't know. I really haven't been doing anything too experimental, honestly. My taquito recipe that I shared in a vlog a while back is like probably the newest like inventive thing that I've done. <laughs> 
I've been very much just in my box of eating what is easy and quick, and that is one of them. Oh, also my falafel salad. I showed that in a vlog recently. It's basically just like a Greek salad. Falafel, yummy like vinaigrettes, garbanzo beans, feta cheese. It's just really yummy. Just gonna add a little bit more of this brighter green into the mix. Just love how swampy and murky this is. It's so pretty. And the mats are blending beautifully, especially considering I used three pretty dark mats. I like how they're blending. I'm gonna now take my NYX Glitter Primer. So I use it with every shimmer ever. <laughs> this is an Alter Ego number nine, just like a fat packing brush. I'm just gonna smack some of this across the lid. I'm gonna do it to the other one as well. And then dipping back into that Cupid's Arrow palette from St. Angel Sinners. Basically, I want Eve on the front part and I want Bonnie to be the outer part. I know it's a lot to like smack multiple dimensional shadows on one lid, but that's just what I want to do so badly. These swatch beautifully, so I'm really excited to see them on the eye. They have a very like, what's the word? What is the word? Dimethicone kind of feeling where it feels very like slick and delicious and yummy. I think that's the word I'm looking for. Who knows? The pronunciation police will come after me, I'm sure. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna flip the brush over to the clean side and then put Bonnie on the rest. I'm so excited about these shadows. I'm so glad they sent me a package because these shadows are so beautiful and they were not really on my radar before they sent me anything. And so far I am quite impressed, holy cow. And this is my first time using them too. This is a true first impressions here. That is just absolutely gorgeous. Wow, that's so shifty. Really quick, I want to take Forest right there and I'll probably use Euricity as my inner corner as well. I wanna use Juliet, but I do wanna use some of the shimmers in this palette today. So we'll see. I'm gonna tuck Forest on the lower lash line first with my pencil brush. It's a pretty like metallic, but I feel like it almost doesn't hold a candle to what's on my lids right now because they're so wet looking and beautiful. How do you deal with anxiety? Love you so much, hope you're fine. You are so sweet. I hope you're doing fine as well. Again, I'm taking Euricity to pop in my inner corner. Here we go, it's really pretty. You know what, maybe I'll top a little Juliet on top of it. We'll just mix them together. Juliet will just give it that extra pop. Yeah, that's cute. Very cute. Uh, my anxiety's been okay. I feel like this year I've really been focusing on taking time for myself and giving myself like do nothing days and self care days. I've been getting better at like not being on my phone all the time. I've kind of made it a rule this year to not be in bed while on my phone especially in the morning. Like I do not want to like be laying in bed first awake and then like pick up my phone. I need to be out of bed moving before I can like start using my phone. I try to do the same thing when I'm settling down to go to sleep, but sometimes I play on my phone for a little bit. It's been okay. Some days are easier than others. It hasn't been debilitating or anything like that, but there are definitely some good days, some bad. I think a lot of people can relate to that. It's just kind of how it flows and goes, you know? Favorite animal, and if it's bats, any particular species. Um, I love bats. Cats are my number one favorite. I know that's like such a basic answer, but I love cats, like with my whole heart. Then I also love penguins. I do love bats. I don't know if I have a specific favorite. I just love them all. I truly love them all. I think they're all precious. I love capybaras so much. They make my heart so full. I love foxes, I love, what else do I love? I love all the animals. <laughs> I love them all so much. And I think I've gotten through like as many as I can right now. I'm just going to finish off my look. I'm gonna throw on my lashes and eye pencil and something on my lips and I'll be back to finish this up. All right, this is the look complete. I love, I think it is so, pretty. I just love the way those shadows shine on the lid. I love the murky crease work. I think this is so pretty. I'm vibing with this. The eye pencil I ended up pairing with it is the Making Waves pencil from ColourPop. I thought it kind of went with that front area nicely. My lashes are the style Juliet from Noella Lashes and on my lips I went with this liquid lip from Ace Beauté called Own It. Just thought it kind of added some more grunge factor and I love it a lot. So yeah, this is the look. Let's zoom out and I'll finish up this video. 
Okay, thank you so much for watching and hanging out. Thank you so much for submitting your questions. If I didn't get to your question, I'm so sorry. There were quite a lot, so I was just kind of rolling through the ones that were sticking out to me and catching my eye and all that good stuff. I like the vibe of these videos. I'll probably continue to just do them every like month or two, so there will be more question videos coming. So if you didn't get your question answered, please feel free to submit it again in the future. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the products I used today, my look, let's chat down below. If you made it to the end of this video, why don't you leave me, hmm, that's a good question. I don't know, why don't you leave me some like roses? I feel like that fits the vibe of this palette nicely. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Baddie Bean fam. I and Batty Bean on everything, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And if you want, you can subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. I'm posting most days over here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.